There's more to a message than just words and content. A message is not just what you say, it's how you say it. Emotions and expression are important factors in how a message is received. These factors can be expressed in several different ways. Vocal qualities like volume, tone, and rate are part of the message that is considered to be a nonverbal form of communicating. Nonverbal communication helps our messages be interpreted as effectively as possible. Between 60 and 90 percent of a message can be nonverbal. Of course, these messages can become confusing if all the parts do not work together. These guidelines will not only help you become a more articulate presenter, but also a more eloquent conversationalist. Volume is the initial factor to take into account when speaking. For a message to be effectively delivered, it must first be heard. Speaking softly or quietly can not only make your message hard to hear, but can lose your audience's attention. On the other hand, a message that is too loud can have the same effect, and not to mention hurt people's ears. Ouch! When it comes to volume, remember to be assertive and confident. Project your voice instead of raising your voice or yelling. The best way to adjust your voice to a proper volume is to focus to where you want to project. If you are in a conversation, focus on that person's face. If you are speaking to a large crowd, speak loud enough so the people in the back row can hear you. The next factor to consider is vocal tone. A pleasant tone can give a speaker more credibility and gain the trust of an audience. Vocal tone can be adjusted to make the speaker sound warm, confident, and articulate. You can also change the tone of your voice to emphasize an idea. For example, if you want to show genuine interest in something, express your enthusiasm by using an animated tone of voice. Voices that are too low, too high, or too monotone can be distracting or uninteresting. Listen to the following examples and choose which one displays the best vocal tone. I'm very important. I have many leather-bound books, and my apartment smells of rich mahogany. I believe diversity is an old, old wooden ship that was used during the Civil War era. I am so excited. That joke was hilarious. I love to read books about the planets and the stars. If you guessed the last option, congratulations! You're catching on. The last factor is rate, and this determines the clarity of the speaker. Your rate of speech can affect how your message is interpreted. If you speak too quickly, it may not leave your audience enough time to process what you are saying. Speaking too slowly can make it hard for the audience to remember what you said. To ensure an effective rate, take a deep breath and do not rush your words. Becoming tongue-tied is a good indication you are speaking too fast. Pause between ideas and relax for a moment before speaking again. Mastering the proper use of vocal qualities such as volume, tone, and rate will make you into a more effective communicator and speaker. Now that you know more about vocal qualities, you will be a super speaker in no time. Thanks for watching and stay classy!